first principles let's take a look we have f of x which is equal to 2 minus 3x squared and it's supposed to find f prime of x well using the power rule we know fully well that f prime of x should be equal to minus 6x okay so when we use the first principle we need to end up with this answer minus 6x if that is not the case we have made a mistake somewhere on the way so let's take a look f prime of x should be equal to using first principle the limit as h tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x everything divided by h so let's just calculate f of x plus h separately we're gonna have 2 minus 3 and then in place of x we have x plus h squared so this is going to be equals to minus well not minus but 2 minus 3 and then x squared plus 2 x h plus h squared so this is 2 minus 3 x squared minus 6 x h minus 3 h squared okay so we have f of x plus h let's minus f of x so f of x plus h minus f of x this is going to be equals to 2 minus 3x squared minus 6h minus 3h squared minus f of x f of x is 2 minus 3x squared okay so this is going to be equals to 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 is 0 and then minus 3x squared minus minus 3x squared so that's going to be plus so look at this 2 minus 2 that will give us 0 and then minus 3x squared minus minus 3x squared will give us 0 so we are left with 6xh minus 3h squared let's substitute back in our equation so f prime of x as the limit tends to 0 we have 6xh minus 3h squared everything divided by h let's take h as a common factor on the numerator if we do that we are left with 6x well this is minus right this is minus because take a look at this minus 6xh so here we should have minus so when you take a common factor we're going to be left with minus 6x and then minus 3h divided by h h and h will cancel out now let's let h be zero we're gonna have minus 6x minus 3 multiplied by zero so this is just minus 6x and it's exactly what we are saying what we said we should end up with so we are convinced that we have done everything uh, the right way that is 8.1 uh, quite easy to compute five marks and then 8.2.1 we have we're looking for f prime of x when f of x is equals to 2x to the power 4 minus 3x plus a squared okay f prime of x is going to be equals to 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 and then 4 minus 1 is 3 okay and then 1 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 3 and then 1 minus 1 is 0 x to the power 0 is 1 so we're just left with minus 3 and then here we have a squared a squared doesn't have a variable of x so that's a constant we're going to have 0 so f prime of x is equal to 8x to the power 3 minus 3 a squared becomes 0 because it is a constant or at least we're not derivating with respect to a we are derivating with respect to x so a squared will be 0 because of that right that is 8.2.1 8.2.2 we are looking for dx when we have 2x to the 3 minus square root of x divided by x so instead of dividing by x let's just multiply by x to the minus 1 
okay we can do that so dx and then we have 2x to the 3 minus square root of x multiplied by x to the minus 1 okay so dx and then what is 2x to the 3 multiplied by x to the minus 1 we're gonna get 2x and then we add the exponents 3 plus minus 1 that is 2 and then minus x is the same as x to the power well square root of x is the same as x to the half and then we're multiplying by minus 1 so this is gonna be half plus minus 1 which is minus a half okay so here we're gonna have minus x to the power minus a half okay and then now we can finally derivate so we can introduce the equal sign okay and then this is gonna be 4x we're just using the portal plus a half x and then a half minus a half minus one that should be minus 1.5 so we have minus 3 over 2 and there we go that is 8.2.2 8.3 the following information is given for a function f of 4 is equal to 5 so when x is equal to 4 y is equal to 5 and f prime of 4 is equal to 7 so the gradient at that point is 7 Determine the equation of the tangent of f at x is equal to 4 in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So this is quite an easy one. y is equal to mx plus c. We already have the gradient. The gradient is 7. Add to that point at x is equal to 4. So we have 7x plus c. So we just need to see. We just need to determine c. But we're given this point. When x is equal to 4, y is 5. So we have 5. 7 multiplied by 4 plus c so let's take a look 7 14 21 28 so we have 28 plus c so c is equal to minus 23 so y is equal to 7x minus 23 so let me just substitute 4 and see if i get 5 just to ensure that i'm not making a mistake y is equal to 7 multiplied by 5 7 multiplied by 4 is 28 so multiply by 5 it should be 35 okay so we have 35 minus 23 7 14 28 35 so 35 minus 23 so 35 minus 23 uh what is that 35 oh no f of 4 not f of 5 i was getting surprised because i could see that it doesn't seem like it's gonna work out so 7 14 28 minus 23 which is equal to 5 okay so this is fine